All right, welcome to day 175 in the Shenandoahs. We're starting today at Corbin's Cabin Cutoff off Skyline Drive. That's <clears throat> where we got dropped off. And uh, we're hiking north back up to Jeremy's Run where we ended yesterday. Yeah, we keep flip-flopping north and south, but whatever. Uh, bit of a longer hike today. Uh, and a good amount of climbing. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, today should be about 15 miles and about 3,000 feet of climbing. Nicer day today. Temp uh, 62 degrees. So, uh, definitely overcast. We may or may not have views, but not actively raining. Supposedly going to be clearing up a little bit, so that might be a nicer day to later today. We'll see. Right now there's no views. So, uh, yeah, feels weird. Both uh, Buzz and I were talking about, uh, we're experiencing kind of this odd sh short timer syndrome. So we have, including today, we have six days of hiking left. If all goes according to plan. So after day, it'd be five, of course. And, uh, yeah. So, you know, everything we do and look at, we go like, well, like electrolytes. I only need five more days of that, you know. Snacks, etc. So, that's what it is. Right, loving the fact that that might be sunlight coming out, maybe. Yeah, first time in a few days, and just one of the blowdowns. Not too bad. Hey, all the sun's coming out. Loving it, loving it. So we just had a. A bit of an ego boost it's kind of cool we just ran into a group of uh i think seven section hikers and uh the guy in the front i pulled off to let them pass because i always do it the group's larger than me and uh the guy stops and says hey you're a youtuber I went like yeah chase because <laughs> i just watched your videos so anyways that was cool appreciated it so, uh, yeah. It's weird. Uh, I guess that's a fire pit. Um, water source. I don't know if that's working, but a water source. Some sort of box. Camping areas. Is this a restroom? Oh, it's a shelter. Ah. Interesting shelter. We got an indoor fireplace pretty cool all right for the first time now we can go up to a viewpoint and you know it's still pretty cloudy but you can see a little bit it's definitely breaking up and yeah, they talk a lot about the green tunnel on the AT. And when we're up north, you kind of get away from that a little bit. And you come back down here and you see it. Of course, and now at this time of year, there's uh, more colors than just green, of course. So we're kind of getting back into uh, a green tunnel that's yellow and browns and other colors. Sadly, because we're getting off trail, we're going to miss probably the peak leaf season which we're hoping to see when we hike south here but it is what it is right so uh 
yeah. Trail conditions have been pretty good so far. Um, we had all those blowdowns yesterday and we've only had a couple so far today. It's been pretty good. All right, 15 minutes later, just like that, clouds rolled back in. Oh well. Check out the size of this blowdown. This whole thing split off from there. And uh, good thing is it kind of created a tunnel you can still get through. So that's good. And another big one that's just right after the other one. And this one just split off. How far it goes. I always feel sorry for the trees that are just sort of collateral damage. I just want to point out that uh, there's carnage all around the trail. I'm not documenting it because it's I'm only like taking pictures of blowdowns that you have to walk across. But I mean, it's just all over. Look at this tree that fell, and uh, so it's not blocking the trail. And we're seeing a lot of that on the sides of the trail, just off the trail. And of course, they also have multiple blowdowns, so an easy one to step over, and then. And you see all kinds of trees have fallen and yeah I figure our way and I see one more coming up and there's been a like a war zone here yeah it's quite a bit here multiple trees from both sides crisscrossing I'll make it through. Well, we've had a variety of blowdowns, but check this one out. Gotta figure out how to go. We talk about like there's some blowdowns you just can't get through. Uh, it looks like you may be able to tunnel through there. Or there may be bushwhacking all the way around that way. Uh, but holy heck. All right, I tried going through there and that's not gonna be easy. It looks like it's, it's possible. <laughs> I'm gonna, I bailed on it anyways, and I'm gonna see what's on this side. Fun, fun, fun. Oh yeah, this is a better choice. All right. I think. Wait, where's the trail? I don't know, is that the trail and got covered up with more blowdowns? I think it is. Because that's, this is the alternate. Or no, is that the trail? 
Oh man, I got so turned around in there. Hoping I'm not just back to where I was. Well. Yeah, this is the other side of the blowdown. Holy heck, we just got through that one big blowdown. Look at this one, right across the path. Wow. All right, so we keep hitting blowdowns. You gotta figure out a way around them. Um, this is one you don't go through. It's a giant tree. We either go towards the root end, work our way around there, try to go beyond. It doesn't look like it goes much past there. And I'm gonna try that. Yeah, I think this is a winning strategy. Just gotta figure out how to bushwhack through here. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. You know, so, oh, gotta get to the other side of the tree. Holy moly, that's a big tree. So the uh, thing I keep thinking about with these blowdowns is farther south we go the worse they are so far and if this keeps getting worse I don't know if it makes sense for us to continue you know because that's nuts yeah so let's talk about uh, hiker short timer syndrome you know we've all heard about worker short timer syndrome when you've given notice and you're down to your last days and you know Maybe you don't give it your all or whatever. But hiker short-timer syndrome, and it's raining right now, so I'm going to have to put away the phone, but hiker short-timer syndrome is interesting. I think most people get, get pulled off trail, you know, if, be it from injury, illness, um, or you just you end up at a hotel, hostel, and you decide, I, I, can't, I don't want to do this anymore. It's immediate, right? It's like that day you're going like, well, crap, I'm done, you know? So... What's weird in our case is that, you know, we said, hey, we're going to be done in eight days, right? Which is five and a half days from now now. Um, yeah, so that, that's different, right? Because now we're just playing out those days. And it feels weird, is that, if that makes sense, you know? And, and it maybe wouldn't feel as weird if we're hiking on a awesome trail with cool things to see and the sun was out and we had some good views but that's not what we're doing so you know not to play a woe is me thing but the trails i mean it's it's it's, it's quite all right i mean it's I, I love this trail compared to the stuff we've done right it's awesome but uh you know it's and then much to see and it's been raining for most of three days and uh i don't know if it's going to get much better i hope it does but what if it doesn't i mean this is how we're going to end our hike even the views are all socked in you can't see anything and uh, you know so it's that's not like horrible right it's not horrible i'm not saying it is i'm just saying it kind of hard to be motivated to do this you know i'm trudging up a hill in the rain my knees hurt they um uh, over time they've gotten worse I think just from overuse, you know, I think once I get rested up after a while, they'll be better. And uh, my feet are super sore, you know, they, they hurt. So, uh, again, I think after some time, they'll feel better. So, yeah, we already know that we're not going to make it. If you knew that you were going to finish, then this would just be part of the process and you'd suck it up and do it. But when you know you're not going to finish... You know, what, what difference does another 75 miles make in the big scheme of things? Yeah, unless you are really enjoying those 75 miles. And if you're not, you know, it's, it's tempting to just tack them on to the unfinished business that you'll do later. 
Anyways, that's what I'm thinking, and I'm not suggesting I'm ready to jump tomorrow. But I'm willing to have that discussion because, yeah, this has not been great. And I'm kind of surprised at how I feel about it, you know. I like I told myself as earlier on we were hiking and I'm like remind you know self I'm talking to myself you're on the freaking AT how awesome is that and for a short period of time I was like yeah you're right this is freaking cool I, I'm very privileged you know I I'm able to do this right now so you know shut up <laughs> but that only lasts so long right. So, yeah, I'm just rambling on with some thoughts right now. But, you know, this, I, again, I, I, I guess the main point being is that I don't know how often that someone does that where they decide at some point they're going to get off but then continue hiking for a, a week or so. You know, it's, it's a weird, weird thing. I think if I was down the last two days, maybe I would feel different. Anyways, yeah. There's another blowdown right here. On the other hand, the leaves are changing and it is beautiful. You know, I, I keep reminding myself of that. I mean, take a look. It's, I don't know how well it comes across on the phone, but yeah, it's, it's awesome. So, yeah, maybe I'm just being overly negative. We'll see. Alright, it's really coming down now. Dang.